wanted to do a quick video here on a little bit on this TAC controller. Now, as uh, most of you that have done LS swaps uh, know, if you want to get your TAC working, um, typically you will have to do a, what's called a pull-up resistor mod. Um, and essentially the resistor is probably like a 1000 ohm um, put into uh, a 12 volt circuit, circuit um, to the resistor and then you wire that into your TAC signal coming from the ECM um, and that kind of gives it enough boost on the signal to kind of work your your TAC. Now I did that and uh, my TAC was functional so if you do your swap and your TAC just sits there and is non-operational um, then you'll probably want to do the resistor mod and that just gives you the extra boost pulls it up and then the second part of getting your TAC working is you'll have to go into your tune um, and you have to set your uh, settings up according to uh, the TAC settings within your tune. Uh, but those are the two areas that, um, that you'll want to do to get your TAC working. Now, the other thing that I did is my TAC uh, ECM wire comes from the, from the computer uh, to the original C100 plug uh, where that white wire is coming to your firewall um, and the TPI used to go to the coil so that's basically the circuit that I tie it into um, I'm pretty sure it's a white wire um, and so that's really all it took to get the tack working now my tack was about 50% low um, so in my case, I had to go out and buy a TAC controller, uh, and I think it's by Dakota Digital. And I'll show you it in a second because I'm getting ready to pull this panel out uh, because for some reason uh, my I can't move my the lever here for the temperature, and I think because I put my TAC module in here, maybe it's interfering it. So we're going to discover that together as I open this bottom panel up. Um, but the TAC controller, I ended up getting an old one on eBay and let's just kind of open this up here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this is essentially the panel I just did. I did, you know, just take <clears throat> essentially your nut driver here, uh, seven millimeter, a few screws um, to get that out. And this is the um, this is the TAC controller. Now this is a SGI-8 by Dakota Digital. This is actually um, an older model. Um, the new ones actually have a dial. So essentially you give it a 12 volt signal, a ground, then you get the input comes from that C100 and the output goes to the gauge. So it's basically amplifying or boosting it where it allows you to dial in essentially the difference of the tack signal. So for me, this is an older one. This has little DIN switches here. And I was actually lucky. I like pulled one switch randomly and it was like within a hundred RPM of being correct. Um, <laughs> and I didn't really know it until I put HP tuners on it. And uh, me and a buddy of mine were, were, were working on uh, doing some data logging. And uh, he mentioned that, you know, it looked like it was about 100 off. So the car's in the garage right now. I'm, I'm not going to start it to kind of dial that in. Um, but what's interesting about this module as well is you won't have, you really don't have to do the uh, resistor mod if you do this. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it here for you. Um, there you go. So you really don't have to do the resistor mod because this has the 12 volt. It has the it actually has a tack select input range. Um, you may you know, and it also has a way to sort of pull it up here. So I don't think you need the resistor mod if you just go buy one of these. 
and the new ones like they're pretty they're pretty cheap they're like 75 80 bucks um, but it'll save you a whole lot of headache just get this put a put a uh, there's four wires put those hook those wires up 12 volt ignition uh, ground input from the ECM and output to the TAC that's really it and then you can just dial it in the new ones have a knob like I mentioned and uh, it's pretty easy so that's the way guys you you'll get your TAC working uh, your stock gauges I'm pretty committed to keeping the stock gauges I know you know they're old you know you have the old circuit board the paper circuit board um, I've got mine dialed in pretty good it seems like it's pretty reliable um, and I just like when I sit in the car it feels like 1985 so I'm gonna keep it so there's that 